Oh, right. Well, you did. You did a great job. Thank you so much, guys. We got through it. Here is the first map of your first semi-final, ladies and gentlemen. Ents versus Team Vitality. First map will be Mirage as the T side start for the Finns. Let's go to church. Or let's go to a pause and wait for. Oh the no, fifth that's, why is oh, this always done, my life? He's done the hype. <laughs> every final, I try to tell you, dude, hype every up. playoff, every start of every arena, I do all that. I scream, get everyone hyped up, then it's this. <laughs> I love what? the ones where we're in the arena and they'll do the walk-in and then these dudes will just run to the bathroom. Yeah, I, I, I can't. I just can't. I can understand that one. There's a lot of hands in that crowd that you're touching as you go. Yeah, yeah. I'd well, I'd which I understand that, but yeah. at the same time, they're given things to clean their hands with, right? Yeah, Purell. Listen, I don't. Purell. I don't do that. Gasoline, whatever, dude. Point is, I don't take part in increasing the the strength of the bacteria of this world. You know, I'd really like to see hand sanitizer companies come into esports, but <laughs> shout out to any of those. Hand sanitizer, deodorant. You know, should, uh, I can't even think of one. Purell, I guess. Well, yeah. hey, now that there's 10 people in the server, I'm going to go change. So have a good time, boys. Oh, that was his plan. Well, yeah. that, okay. Here we go then. Let's have a look at the buys overall. No P250s. <laughs> oh, it might be the B rush again from Ensign. Remember, they did this before. And um, the bomb's heading that side of the map. Gotta be having five sets of armor here. No grenades at all, that means, I mean, apart from the decoy, if you count that, they're actually going to head towards that underpass position. Look at the one player who's going to be in towards that palace position as well. So this could be the A split, a heavy focus towards connecting with the booster player up first. That's my only question mark at this point. They've been spotted, that's the cue to leave, and they're going to try and get as much attention for they can. For Sergei, he's coming out of the palace, he's got the first kill, and this is looking very good for Enz, but there still is a CT player on the bomb side too, in fact, as they go for an offensive plan here. They haven't checked the bomb side completely, so Alex, still there, should be able to find at least one here. That's a nice shot to open things up. Can he get the second? Oh, it's a struggle, but he's not going to quite wow. find it there. Oh, yeah. Sergey? Doesn't die there. Sergey taking this fight in halls. It's going to be Alex that falls. MBK smoking off the bomb as this retake has come out in a 2v2. But the pressure being applied, they have tapped the bomb. They are scared that he's still on it, and he is not. They're just going to sit here right on top of it and hatch this egg. They Let's still have a diffuse kit. Look at this oh, nonsense Alexi. right here. This is an awkward exchange. Oh! <laughs> what in the? I don't even know what happened there. Oh. So, uh, smoke down on the bomb. It was placed at, at around the 15 second mark of remaining of bomb time, so that meant it was going to be there for the entire duration. And then the knife begins. I like that from Enzo, sitting inside the knife fen. Um, yeah, I guess it cool. might look a bit ridiculous to some people, but it is actually a very viable approach because you can sit on the bomb. You don't have to run in and find out where he is. You're looking at the C4. You know exactly where it is. You can just slash as soon as you hear the defuse sound, right? It's also a pretty smart thing because Alexi commits to it, right? Yep. To get people off the bomb that makes Vitality fall back. And the problem is Vitality can't go into the smoke unless they they want to start the you know the sword duel going on in there. And if they stand outside, they're exposing themselves to the ends player in, in Connector, right? So Alexi's more or less just forced Vitality into the open. Well, it was a lot of fun. It was the A split from Ents, no grenades, remember. So that's quite a rare approach on the T side of Mirage. They're going towards that B apartment, towards underpass, fast in towards connector, one player in Palace. As soon as they get the aggro, that's when he swings out, gets that initial kill. And sure, it comes down to a tight situation. Vitality hits some nice shots, but Ents will be picking it up. And it's the full eco now for the French. They'll be buying up in the next round. They have not invested a single dollar here. No flashbang, and they'll be stacking towards the A bomb site here. Five players on this side of the map. All quiet. Oh, he's back. <laughs> oh, there he is. Hey, Jason. Didn't see you come through here. Feeling much more comfortable now. I am pretty warm in this. I'm not going to lie. Do you want to go get changed as well? Maybe we would have said that was the fun segment to open things yeah, up. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll get there. But the novelty's worn off. We have some time. I'm not going to lie to you. I didn't laugh the first time I saw it. Definitely not laughing now. So, wow. Henry you just got, hate Henry's fun, got don't you? Bit. He's got a little bit angry. Just a yeah. ball of fun at parties. That's Henry Greer. <laughs> you can book it for your party today. Small appearance fee of 200K. 200K. That's expensive. You can get that treatment too while you're there. Yeah, so. you get the full service for that. So. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the catwalk take for Ents. They're going to be barreling it up there, and it's only USPs on the side of Vitality. Nothing to the nothing to the side of that. They're going to have a tough time battling out against these four AKs. Yeah, we don't have to cast this one. Yep. Move on, Ben. Any thoughts? So far? Yeah, what have you enjoyed? What these have you two, really taken two from rounds, these two rounds? What, have you, what, have you, what can you really tell us about the game? See, I don't know if I have time to really cover everything. Sure, but so many thoughts. Yeah, no, it's just a lot of just uh, take in. Well, they are going to be buying up next round. Let's talk about that, right? So they're going to have 
Um, Ooh, I admire the effort. It's actually kind of interesting. Ents have gone for like four A cases. They don't have like UMPs or Mac 10s or anything like that. They've actually got a pretty decent overall uh, setup here. Vitality are going to have to make compromises though. They're not going to necessarily have all the incendiaries, the kits. They have gone for a heavy focus on the rifles, however. I, so I think uh, that knife attempt was cool from Zyru because that would have given them the AWP. Yeah, though, right? yeah. yeah. But it uh, hasn't worked out. So they do not have a single kit. They are bare bones utility. If it's me calling right now, everyone has a different approach. I want to go for someone to get like a push towards A ramp or something like that. A flash over. Yeah. Let's go for a pick somewhere. Not a mid push. You haven't got enough utility for it. But an A ramp presence just to try and do some damage at least and bait out some of the grenades. And this is what they're going for. I like this. It's a good call, Jason. You've got to respect it. No, I do. But it's a great call from Vitality as well to just get two players close up. You go at the point of the attack. That's an awkward jump. And that's a great hold. Zaiwu, one player in Palace to deal with it. Sergey, but the flame's gonna force him away, and that's phenomenal trading. Still just a one on one, though. Yeah, this is a big round. Vitality, they will be eco if they give this one up. Ents will still have cash, so Vitality, the ones that desperately need it, but the advantage lies towards Ents right now. But the bomb down, I'm not sure if Zaiwu is fully aware of it. It seems he's like holding position, so he must know. He killed it, yeah. He, he killed the bomb there carrier, go, so then. he knows it's on the ground. So there's a smoke available. Alexi B with 100 HP, he's got all the time. This is a sick reposition from Zaiwu though, like if you think about the fact that all of his kills came close up towards A ramp, he was underneath balcony. This one could really throw Alexi for some trouble, but he's got so much time to play with. And you can see he's just being patient because he wants to find out if there's going to be any information given up by Zaiwu. Yeah. I like the fact that Zaiwu is just taking himself into a corner, so he's isolated every sort of angle. Well, like that's the thing, right? It's one of those things you just... I always just tell players, like, do you think it's better to stay in one position than just constantly moving around, right? Because yeah. then you start getting the mind game, such a big map in this scenario. Yeah. Like, you know, he knows Alexi needs to go towards the bomb at some point, and if uh, he doesn't, the likelihood of him wrapping around uh, is big. Uh, oh, that's quick from Alexi. Yeah, that's very nice. And that's a huge round for Ents to pick up as well. That yeah. is uh, influential on the landscape of the game. A T side, 3 0 start, potentially 4 now at the Eco. And uh, this is a map we know Vitality isn't 100% comfortable on. But what we need, uh, I mean, it seems like Vitality have done some sort of research. I, I think, like, what we saw is A, a result of uh, li uh, limited utility, as you mentioned, but also the fact that Ents have been really hardcore on doing contact plays yeah, on, I was about on to say A. The same thing. And yep. it, it's cool as well. They had the awareness. Like, the, the fact that like, I called that approach, like, on the CT side, right? That they, when you know the money's low, they, they're going to be working for picks. You might yeah. as well go challenge instead of being caught with your grenades out, sitting there lining up smokes. Yep. You've got your rifles out ready for that sort of play coming in. And Ents were very, very aware indeed. So this seems like some of the mistakes they're making earlier in the tournament starting to be rectified now, and they're reading the game well. Which bodes well. It's a good look all around. But in this round with three deagles. <clears throat> Still on the back foot. It might Very be tough to get something done here. There's a chance. We're gonna try to fight him at range. It looks Kobe. like. Kobe. Oh, not so much. Those steps. Oof. It's a rough one. Only the Mac 10 though. So that's by design. The Mac 10 is gonna be investigating essentially that A bomb site. Give a call as to who's there. He spotted two players. He's killed on middle. They can take an educated guess that B should be reasonably clear at this point. Especially now. Direction. Yeah, that should be the cue for them to start making the way over about the rotations coming through from the CTs. They are relatively low. Pretty much in the back front to this point. It's just how expensive it's gonna be. Yeah, and they're gonna hold on to the A. Like they don't want they don't even want to see the, the the idea of going back to B, right? Well, with mid control, right, you could just hit the pause button and just chill. I mean, that's yeah. that's basically the only place Vitality can peek for any kind of real information. So you could see just waiting on Catwalk to get that one pick and then select a bomb site. No matter where they're going to go, they're going to have a massive advantage. So, yeah, losing a couple players, but nothing too bad at the moment. Yeah. I like that MVK is bringing the 5-7 back. It, it's it used to be so legit. Oh, I, yeah. I find it less. It's, it's still a good weapon. You just can't use it. Like you, you can't, can't spam it like you used exactly, to. Exactly right. That's right? The problem. I, that's why I think more of a so, stationary gun. I, I used to be like, I used to love the USP back in the day because you could spam that in 1.6. Oh yeah. Like you can't really do that in this game, and like five seven feels like that, but it's beefier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, to me, it's like a. a, oh, I did a, a, a well, in many ways, it's a, it's an upgraded PT50, right? Yeah. Shoots a little bit harder. Again, has the same kind of. Difficulties with it where after the change to well both the five seven and P two fifties. Do you you have to be fairly stationary to make it work? Well, zywe has got the orp out. Same story for Alus, where the game really begins. Our first semi final kicking off with a bang for Ensa. They're four zero up as the orp battle. Oh, it's Alu. He's looking sharp this tournament. But MBK, the double kill, the organ return. You don't normally see an orp and a rifle in the same position. There, that's pretty cool, and it works out for Vitality. Yeah, that's them able to stabilize, bring it back right there, and what was ultimately. A really good start in the round for Ents. 
I mean, it's just crazy that he got there so fast. Yeah. When when Alu gets that kill, there's no way they expect a second player. They assume that op is just the first person to the window. Usually, when you get the all pick on the T side, like there's gonna be like five seconds of no action. Everyone's gonna be like, okay, reset, pull back. Like there's not <laughs> that quick of reply usually. That's pretty cool. MBK with three now, so he gets two of the Org, picks up the AWP, finds another frag with that, and goes back to the rifle. So he'll have the Orb at his feet. But he's a pretty dynamic position, right? He's got to yeah. watch window, he's got to watch ladder room, and he's got to watch him coming up connector. So you need that rifle to be able to be mobile. Well, he's also kind of struck the fear into Ents, right? These last two players might think that Ops waiting for him somewhere. Yeah, else. fear of God. Well, at this stage, Ents probably not going to be winning the round, but if they can find a couple of kills here, maybe a plant, that would be enough just to dent the economy. But MBK's had enough. He's just taking everyone down. That's his fourth kill. He certainly put his shift in, and three players will survive for Vitality. They could go for a double up setup. I don't think we'll see that, though. It's going to be Alex retrieving it for Zaiwu. It's going to be okay for now, but it goes back to the main sniper. Zaiwu's lucky as well. He's got good, like he's got a rotation with good spawns for mid as well, which is pretty big. Leaves him with a lot of opportunity if he wants to do the catwalk jump, obviously, because I'm assuming Ents will smoke off mid window a lot of the rounds, but Zaiwu obviously nails that jump. Pretty much whenever he wants to, so that is always going to be an option for him. Well, here we go. Round six, Vitality. Got a chance to break the economy in old. Oh, another change of pace, another highly aggressive play. I don't think Sergei realizes he's directly beneath them, and yeah, they don't even check it, but that's a great trade. And they're not even actually going to end up at this B bomb site. They just want to apply the pressure. And, oh, Sergey almost gets another one. But look how much this has pulled them away from A. That bomb site is going to be so clear. Vitality has bit this fake. Hook, line, and sinker, as the fishermen say. Yes, the fishermen. Baiting them in. <laughs> that old, that old saying. <laughs> Didn't really, really <laughs> racked your brain on that one. <laughs> I kind of wanted to like, Absolutely. wondering what the, the dramatic pause is going. I kind of want to like back Jason up on that one. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, it's my fault. <laughs> you couldn't think of anything <laughs> to say. Well, <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Just, uh, well, well, Jason so got to fuck the whole thing. I'm <laughs> <laughs> over you guys so much. Are you going to take the dinosaur off out? Maybe have a couple of minutes time out. Take that thing off and. We'll come back to this. Is this just really keeping you going right here, or what's the deal? It's just it's radiating a lot of heat <laughs> and sexual <laughs> energy. <laughs> it's, more yeah. it's, sexual. it's that tail, you know, that yeah. stiff tail. It's a sexual tension rather than, Yeah, you know, I, I, I can't Yeah, really I'll take this off. Don't worry about me. Worry about yourself. What's yeah, I'm right? actually going to get out of this banana. Yeah, that would I'll be let great. Halvor go, and then I'll take figure it out. Take that banana out, sweetheart. Let's go. <laughs> the costume. How many times have you said that? <laughs> <laughs> You're leaking, sweetheart. <laughs> All right, off it comes. There we go. Slip it off. <laughs> Get into something more comfortable. There's something seriously wrong with all of us. I think mainly, mainly me. But well, you're not alone. I'll tell you that. Yeah. Like, oh, thanks, man. We're all in this together. Well, that's a big reply from Ents. After giving <laughs> up one round, remember they had plenty of money in the bank. Vitality. They'll have. They were pretty much max loss bonus at this point. It might be fourth stage. No, they look like yeah, fourth stage. Twenty-one hundred because Darwin has thirty-one. So they've. Got Alex on the saved org. He can drop a FAMAS. They can actually buy into this one. They could even go for a double orb setup if they wanted to. Uh, maybe that would be the call considering two players are quite low, but I doubt it. Zaiwu still relatively quiet. I haven't seen him very early days. He yeah. hasn't had any impact so far. Well, Lexi B, on the other hand, is not doing so bad here going into the seventh Slighten round. Slighten it up. Yeah, Light it up. Like to see. <laughs> orb is out. Orgs two. MBK. SMG, I'd imagine. Yeah, I guess the MP9. <laughs> Utility as well. So, not as bad as it was when they had to push the A ramp, but still, with Zyro Glass Cannon and no kits, limited utility on two players. I would say maybe you do need to make a play at this point, Zywoo. Can't oh. the jump, so he's got no oh. armor, remember? No, Vendetta, Vendetta, you don't want to make those sort of plays with no armor. That's why it's called the Glass Cannon, right? That's too yep. committed, I would say, right? Yeah, I, I don't know if he, like, pulled a, a Dexter special. He's, uh... and rushed mid after a failed, uh... <laughs> After it failed catwalk jump, but it didn't armor. seem like he tried to really jump for for catwalk either. So I'm it, a bit surprised. It looked like he failed to jump to catwalk. But like that's still fine. It's it's designed like that. If you do miss, you get towards connector. But when he committed to the shot in the open, even if he got the first one he, without the armor, he was always going to die. As soon as a bullet touches you without armor, it's called aim punch. Your cross out or scope in this oh, case is just gone. Fly. You're not going to hit any shots. So uh, it, that was a very committed move. And I feel like if you're going to do that 
much of a committed move for a guy who doesn't have armor. Maybe I, I mean, it's a big investment considering how little utility they have, but throw the smoke down in from mid so yeah. he does have an escape path, potentially. Or just a flash from connected from a teammate. Yeah, you know, yeah. Just where he does it, it seems like they were having two players top of middle, and it, it, I guess it might have been communicated that he missed the jump, and he was just going to see what he could do with it, but definitely could have had some backup, uh, maybe a trade, but either way, it's still a four and four, and so well, Alex and no rectify that. He just wanted some information, didn't he? Got, got a bit they, more than they he need it. They got no grenades now. They got yep. MP9s, M4s, zero grenades or kits. Like they are done for you. Someone has to make a play. And it's just such a slow hit that it applies so much pressure. Yeah, now he's ruined. There's one more in CT spawn, one more on catwalk. But ants have great positions. The only problem right now is the time of the clock, and that actually helps out in a big way. Rounds over. Six to one, and the AWP is going to get picked up as well. Oh, that the power button. There it is. <laughs> they found it. They just installed a power button on the TV for you, Jason. There you go. Back at it again. Okay. Well, back into the right, action. <laughs> yeah. All right. Wait, well, no. maximum loss bonus found this round, but another partial buy, I'd say, Vitality. Really struggling here. Some questionable decisions in terms of the aggression displayed. That's why we see a lot of teams reel it in until they get an established economy because then they can actually get the full buy out there. If the round oh, goes again. wrong, they have a bit of backup. Yeah. Uh, this is the partial buy, so you can see when armor, you can like, take a, a bullet or two and you'll be fine. And you actually slow down dramatically. Your, your crosshair goes all over the place, you don't have armor. It's a, it's a real nightmare. It's a whole thing. Well, speaking of slowing down, RPK has slowed down tremendously. They need to get him in this game. It's been a pretty driving force of vitality. Oh, he's just down there. If you want to go give him like a little pep talk, yeah, yeah, you I, could I mean, do that. Listen, we're going to go to the basketball court. We're going to talk it out. I saw him shooting some hoops. So I'm slam dunking? Yeah, he, he dunked on DJ the other day. It was pretty nuts. Someone dunked some DJ? Yeah, Dr. Dunk, or Dunk Daddy DJ has dunk been. Dunk Daddy <laughs> DJ. <laughs> <laughs> dunk Daddy. Anyway, it's just our brains firing on all cylinders. Well, these, these are the sort of rounds where you can get back into the game. You, you win one of these with Deagles, all of a sudden it's 6-2. You're feeling the confidence. They've gone for a B stack this time. Very popular in today's game. See if this works out for them. Can be... Shut down. Have they got an SMG on towards he side? No. So they can't throw someone in to investigate. They're going to go back towards A, which is the right call. A little bit of presence with smoke towards window, I believe, with that one. I always wonder what yeah, what happens don't. in whoever makes the calls in these kinds of rounds, where like it's a blind stack. You, don't, you, you, you have no you real intel. The, you, you just see feeling. the T team just make a decision to go to the right bomb yeah, site. Like the like, fact what did they see? The fact there's nothing towards middle, like you haven't seen a boost towards short, like there's no presence at all, right? You're just going to go in, we have superior firepower, use our grenades to smoke, you're going to treat it like a gun round in terms of the final play. But yeah, essentially, it could be five people there, you, you don't really know. There's the first, and you can see them being very tentative and checking every nook and cranny. Yeah, I think, you know, on average, like if you... If you don't have any information to fly off, A is just the safer bomb. Ex exactly, right? So if you have utility, uh -oh. you can clear out so many angles, force people out into the open. Easier to get trades without CTs ducking out. Yep, Alex finding a big kill. We've got 3v3. a smoke as well. This one has gotten a little scary for the inside. However, they do have the oh. bomb planted. That's in their pocket. Alex picked up the AK, two oh, kills. Right there. Go. Cleaning it all up. Told you. That. Get around with the pistols. All bets are off. To be fair, that should have never happened. No. That was atrocious. No, like the fact that they're all dead before anyone's even touched the bomb, like yeah. your setup's not good. That, that should not be happening. But like you haven't used a crossfire there. If you're getting picked up one by one and no trade in a three on three against Deagles, yeah, something's gone really wrong there. That goes back to the mistakes that's been I haunting them. Was that planted front of bomb? Front of bomb site? They're yeah. all in such separate okay. jewels right now. So the op came out of the smoke because he was smoked off. Uh, you just have to kind of trust your teammates at that point, don't you? Yeah. yeah. Like not panic and just say, I'm smoked off. You guys need to handle this. Well then, Vitality finds some footing. That partial buy leads them to this position. Residual cash and everything they need for a full gun round here. So now maybe we can start exploring some aggression, oh. just like this, Apex. With the AK as well, he wants to start taking matters into his own hands and well, <laughs> X7 <laughs> to snatch them away, I'm afraid. That's the end of that. My goodness. I like the idea. You gotta, you gotta show some confidence. You had a great tournament Absolutely. so far for those sort of plays. Yeah, and that's how they're going to get in this game in a big way. Taking the fight two ants rather than letting them dictate where the fight's taking place. Nice work. Right now, X7 dictating all around the map. Until then. Yeah, tried to overwhelm the B-bomb site with a solo play. Gets two kills. Still possible to win this one. He's laid the foundations. One minute, ten remaining. It's Alu and Ariel up with the AWP and the AK-47, respectively. They're going to head towards B. I'd imagine contact play, uh, but Alex has played really well here. He's going to get at least one kill off this, and that should be enough to win the round. Yeah, I can't imagine anyone hard clearing this. Not uh, in this sort of situation. Right. This is really far off, though. 
Oh, it's not gonna matter. Laid it out the shot as well. Really well played from Alex. Yeah, good one, position. One thing I really like from Ents though to get these six rounds is they're so, they're one of the strongest teams we have at the moment of like mid round decision making and cohesion, and they're initiating a lot of this action like super early. So most of these rounds they've had like a minute, fifty seconds to to make a decision on what to do, and they've just been so good in those scenarios. It's just kind of cool watching them play to their strengths in that way. Yeah, it's a death sentence right there when you take that shot. And you know it, too. That's a pretty desperate little quick peek. It's like, oh, well, that's the end of that. Yeah. I'll just take my hands off the mouse and keyboard. <laughs> just call it a day. Is this going to be another contact play? Oh, they do have a smoke and a flash, I guess, on the aerial, so you might set up for the lamp. Okay, it's going to be smoke. I imagine they'll go with it, though, right? Like yeah, yeah, they'd have to. Ooh, almost made it. There wow. we go, bomb denied. Easy cleanup for Vitality. Yeah, I had the chance of a bomb plant, but unfortunately just overwhelmed by these, these rifles. All right, boys, we've got a game on our hands. Yes, indeed. Vitality are arriving. It's not too late. They can even come back and win this half 9-6. RPK, as Trey said, very quiet 1-7, and seven, but they can still bring this one back. They're finally getting themselves secured. You can see Ents starting to be drained of cash now. It's Alu this time with the glass cannon. No grenades either, so he really is hoping this pick works out for him. On the T side, it's a lot scarier to have that glass cannon. You're very vulnerable to grenades. You're the one challenging the choke points. And you can see now they're really going to get in their feet. They're starting to push towards middle, getting these setups there to deny access towards those mid boxes. It's the confidence that all the utility you have now exactly. on the CG side provides. That's what they needed just to get into this game. Open up the playbook. Yeah, you can't do much when you've got an MP9, no kits, no incendiaries. Now you've got the, all the bells and whistles. Four orgs as well, really focusing on that scoped weapon. One player watching top of middle from Connector. Alex in a swing position. He can watch towards underpass and help out middle if required. Dropping some utility now at a good time as well. Not wasting the start of the round, but he does go down to area. Apex, great position to get a return frag. Might not expect a seven. Sorry, we certainly didn't. Oof. Some really nice trades. That yeah. that mid defense actually wasn't bad, all things considered. Just the fact they only had NBK inside the A bomb so he got legged immediately. There's just not anything he can really do to defend. <laughs> what was the what was the other well, nade? Like he got another smoke as well, I think. So they know where Apex is. He threw incendiaries and now spamming everything. He's got to go down here. Alu, glass cannon, two kills towards the end. It was a gamble, um, but it's certainly worked out for him. It's going to be seven four, but remember, there's plenty of cash in the Vitality side after winning four rounds. Round 12 coming in. Will we see them change things up? I don't think we'll see a double orb from them. Haven't really noticed that throughout the tournament. Rest in peace, the M4, I guess. These guys just don't go near it at all. That's we'll be, see we'll be seeing that more and more. Yeah, it just, just breaks your heart a little bit, Jason. It does. Today, right? It really does. As old boys, you don't, don't love to see it. It's been one of my best friends, the M4, since, yeah. you know, 2001. Damn. Damn. Bye-bye. <laughs> I guess it's kind of come full circle, circle in that sense, though, for you, right? Because it's back to a weapon that you can scope with. It's like the go-to. Shout out to Henry G. Quiz. Yeah. Henry G. Quiz, yeah. <laughs> right, that was a pretty good question. Well, then. Remember, we talked about their contact plays on the inside. They've been doing it all tournament. This is more the same. They've got out the A ramp, and they've got a couple of smokes down there. Molotov towards Sandwich. Is it touching Alex? It is now. He's tucked himself in the corner though. It's not quite deep enough. Maybe that's a CT incendiary, I think. Landing on towards Tetris. I mean, I if that was a T Molly, that was a blunder and a half. Oh, Sergey though. 1v2 with Sergey. The AWP in Zywoo's hands. RPK to his side. And nothing that he can that's get done. one thing I'd really like in this game. If we just get like a blue outline on that Molotov so I can see who threw it, you know? Ooh, just, actually, just, that's a good Just yeah. a real faint blue outline so we can see it's a CT or T friend thing. I can't imagine CG really throwing that Molotov. I guess well, it landed top mountain. It landed it? on top of Tetris, right? Yeah. It spilled over to Sandwich. I was like, maybe they threw it a little bit too yeah, shallow. That makes sense. But it does spill in the cone, right? It falls out the direction you throw it. So, I don't know. It's all a bit weird. I don't know. Either way, Vitality went around, so it's all good. It's going to be a full eco at this point. Just Sergei's got Deagle Armor. A Zeus on the T side, is that? Yeah. that too often. Never really know, man. Oh, that nade. It's gonna hurt. Oh, there you get the extra There's just bounces. no payoff for that follow-up. Yeah, I'm, really, so I'm getting ready for all the damage. Yeah, I'm about to scream. It. Oh, it's the bug. Waiting to see bodies fly. <laughs> <Nothing>. Yeah. <laughs> People have paid good money for this. And we just want to see those explosions. Not getting that. 
<laughs> Let the bodies hit the floor. That's more like it. Rogue. Ragu with the little pop flash. Decides not to ah! peek right away. Oh, there. He's oh, done it! Oh. Wait, what But happened? it's the X7. Okay. <laughs> yeah, right, okay. Ah! <laughs> Alexa was like, oh, that's a little bit too much, so ah. it's an end to X7. I'm surprised that RPK had no idea how close they actually were to turning that corner. Oh, okay. There we are. What would, they, what would you call that, Henry? A blunder? Uh, which was it a wet bottom it was, That wasn't the Zeus on the teammate. He killed his teammate at the PD-50. He did yeah. Zeus to CT. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Alexia was the one who punished X7 for using Zeus. Yeah. He was like, get right. my visions getting back. Nasty ass shit out of him. <laughs> Killed him for it. There can know. only be one nasty ass in this tournament. He's coming up later. Yes, he is. Nasty ass naff. Getting it done. He's coming. He's angry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> well, then, Galil's a uh, bit of a ropey buy here, friends. And Vitality right back into this. Um, goes to show you that money system is quite forgiving these days. You don't get fully reset uh, like you used to in the old system. Vitality might be out of this game. They lost that one round. It would have been a reset in the old setup. Yeah, and now they're loving it. they have plenty of cash. And they had enough money to buy after that. So um, not as detrimental, it seems. Allows us to see more gun rounds and closer games. Classic little A setup here from uh, Vitality. Championed by uh, Fallen and Co. He's taking significant damage over towards B. He hasn't really seen too much action on B, and when they finally arrived, he hasn't really been too successful. Well, he feels like he hasn't really gotten into the game. Kind of sucks playing that B uh, B apps area, really. If a team just targets mid or, or A quite a lot, you don't really get to have a fair shot at getting into the game. This is a cool setup, though. See events can bust this up. That's a big-time kill. That's pushing towards the B halls, but Zaiwu has not budged. That's going to be an easy kill for him. No follow-up on A ramp for Ents. Looked like they wanted to start adjusting based off that kill towards the B bomb, so they might turn it into more presence. Oh, it's a nice shot. That's the bomb, though. So now Vitality's going to have an idea what's coming. We'll have to see, Jason. Zaiwu, he'll at least find the first. That's Sergei going down, but still a three-on-three three with time ticking away. Starting to run out of resources now. Ents will make their way towards the A site. It's scrappy. It looks like they're out of this one. It's just a little remaining. Two versus one, it's seven. Ten seconds. Yeah, I don't think he has any time to do anything with this. The bomb is down at A ramp. He'll have to give in and save the AK. That was the first round this half where I felt like Ents got a little bit lost yeah. across the map. They're starting to drop off now. Yeah. I mean, that was when I, I don't know if maybe the indecision caused by that B pick, like, you know, they were they were considering going back for it, but they all got, they were all disconnected. There was no teamwork there. Yeah. So I was able to get a couple kills that AWP with no pressure on him applied whatsoever. Yeah. Well, how, many, get... how many rounds of Vitality picked up now in uh, quite a short run? Uh, Heather, if you could pick up the scoreboard. Six yeah. of the last seven. Yeah, that's uh, that's quite the run. That is, it really does personify what everyone's talking about with the money system these days. You have this massive lead, and then boom, the money's still there for Vitality, and they can bring it right back, and you're punished for having no loss bonus build up yourself for the last half. Bring yep, double op setup, just to note. Yep, double op setup. Three augs, seven, well, seven. Apex four. being the one opping. What? Yeah, you got MBK on the team. Apex picking it up. Maybe he had a good spawn. Or Maybe. something. Solo B Defender, maybe? Everybody from Vitality's found their way over now to this A site, which is exactly where they should be. Just trying to clear it out as best as they can. Picked Ooh. apart right at the seams. RPK finding the kill on a Sergey. No bomb down. He's just in a 2v3 now with another frag coming in, and you're right. Bomb hasn't been planted. It's still a minute on the clock, so nothing to worry about. But the backstab of Catwalk is just taking its sweet time. Didn't get there quite quick enough. It'll be Alu. Last round for Ents in the half. And on 4 HP, it's going to be a, a tough time against that of Alex and RPK. Yeah, I think his days might be numbered here. Alu is very good, but he just doesn't really have anything apart from this Orc 4 HP. No bomb, no nades. CTs is running down that timer, and they've done a really nice crossfire as well. You can't really do much about this. He's under that box in shadow. It's on top of it. It's a really awkward position to pre aim. We'll see if Alu even considers it. That's the last round. He's going to yeah, go he's for going it. For oh, it. does he see back? You see? Yeah, he's see back. All right. Bit of a gift. Pretty There's weird. no way, though. There's way too many oh. angles to check. Oh, 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 dear. Alex. Damn. 
the ballsy jump up on the box there, but yeah. gets it done nonetheless. Eight, seven, half, and what started very slow for Vitality, they're able to turn it around. Yeah, the reverse sweep coming in. Seven, well, six, one down. They bring it back to eight, seven in their favor. Only drop one round in that stretch. Yeah, that's I mean, this wild. started off of Alex round uh, on the eco, right? Yeah, they've won, they've won a single eco, and then go... Yeah. They lost that round after that, and then once they got financially secure again with that max loss burn, as you could see, when they got everything they needed, all the incendiaries and kits and stuff, they actually looked pretty decent. They could start exploring um, some of those aggressive plays and finding those first picks, and Ents didn't really have a response for that. That he said, as Jason said, they looked maybe a little bit overwhelmed. MBK and Alex teaming up for quite a bit of kills here. 16 apiece. Well... Pistol yeah. round of the second half. Yeah, this pistol round is pretty important. We're talking about gaining some momentum early on in the half, maybe get something going completely in your way consistently. See if the what team will be able to do so. As the match is paused, we will. So Henry, take it away. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? What do you want? I can build, do? build this one up. Okay. As we're paused, <coughs> I mean, the quiz was almost ready. Uh. <coughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, second half about to begin. Ents with their backs to the wall. This is their pick. It was looking so strong for them, but it's Vitality now. They have brought the game right back in their favor. They switch over to the CT side, and we'll have a look at the purchases as they come in. We didn't see any utility from the Finns. Will the French have a different approach? It seems so. He's Apex the smoke. The with the smoke. The armors. The oh, my God. He's oh. got a B-250. The Five first time coming to an end. damn it. Unbelievable scene. <laughs> Let's get the pistol round underway. Have you <laughs> ever seen anything <laughs> like it? <laughs> this is what Counter-Strike is all about. There it is. Can Freeze you believe time. it? Cancelled. Just about 15 seconds we're going to be. Getting it going here. Getting the show on the road. Getting her yeah. done. I'm assuming. Get her done. Get her done, bud. So what are we thinking? Yee. Ollie buys a P250, even though he has a USP, or is he going to gonna buy uh, more utility? Well, he saw they need a kit. They've, they've been buying P250s on the CT side, weirdly, this tournament. A couple of teams have. Yeah. I don't know why you do that. I do that after Is he him. saving $500? So yeah. Yeah, I suppose so. Got to respect that. All about the long term. Money in the bank. Ooh, look at this B stack as well. Stealth as ever. Sergey with his head turned into the corner here in the B site. Yeah, he's very dodging the, flashes. Yep. Playing the anti flash. Let's see if they if they bust it up though, because Oh, this oh, they're gonna go run catwalk. right into it. Okay, catwalk. Here we go. Here we go. X7 trying to hold the line, but the rest of this hit, this crossfire is so strong. Boom. One more. Yep, there you go. That was Alexi. Zywoo and Apex with a pretty tough task ahead of them. Likes to be on one HP, but that's still four defenders alive for Ents on the mm. CT side. Man, no just more. Waiting for vitality. Apex on that back step. Oh, I love setting up your star player to be able to bait, to be able to just hide in the corner, take those perfect mid-range fights. It's lovely. Boom. See a young Moses in that yeah, position? Exactly. <laughs> I can see it too. Hair that was a nice. Blowing <laughs> Back to there. Oh. <laughs> oh, I thought you were talking about your brother. My bad. Oh, that was good. His name, your brother's name is Hair, wasn't it? Yeah, but you oh, know, hair, it's yeah. the animal, not the. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. H a r e trace. <laughs> Word of the day for you. It's just his name. <laughs> <laughs> no, I I did enjoy that that. POV footage that uh, I think it's on YouTube. Yeah, from one of the old CBLs. Yeah, they have the voice calm. Danny, what? <laughs> <laughs> Just yelling at people. It's so good. It's so a That round, not much could be done there. Vitality do lose it, as kind of expected. All things we got in trouble at that event. That was one of the first events they had cameras at, like doing content. My brother would always yell, you know, Bad words. Stuff. The, <laughs> the, the bad words or just What kind of bad friendly words are we talking about? Like bad words. Like, well, just like, you know, fuck shit. You know, oh, that kind of wow, stuff. Wow, I can't get fuck. I can't believe it. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't anything terrible, but because it was one of the first events of the cameras, they came by and they were like, yeah, if you guys do that again, we're going to have to, like, disqualify you. Because, you know, the sponsors, disqualify the, sponsors, the sponsors want like that. They know who they're dealing with. You I tell like them, this. you know who I am? <laughs> yeah, that's I'm what we said. I'm chasing O'Toole. Yeah. 
That's anyway. so, that solved all the problems. Hey, check out this gun <laughs> round, guys. It's not gone well for Vitality. It really hasn't. It's a nice, aggressive push from Ents. Similar scenes to the first half. They knew they had to make uh, some impact early on the round and shut down the default. You saw that smoke towards the underpass and ducking and weaving. They've managed to find three kills to kick things off here. Big round for Ents. They knock on the door of double digits. Zaiwu, giving his position up, still not really seeing that much from him in terms of star power. It's been a very average tournament for him, and everyone's such a fan. They want to see the huge orb highlights. And Mirage is a bit of a specialist map for him as well. It's where you see most of his best work done. RPK will at least find one in return. Just trying to do what damage they can. They don't want to let Ents build up this economy early on in the half. That could bode disaster for Vitality. RPK and Zaiwu just need to get something going here. Take a few more guns. Perhaps get a bomb plant. You know, just the little things. That's a nasty off angle. Yeah, that's a nice off angle, huh? And he capitalizes against two. So, easy for Ents. Kind of a disaster of a round if you're Vitality. You would have liked to at least do some economic damage. Only one kill is, is not quite good enough. Boop. Nice work. Boop. Wait, I was wondering who did that. <laughs> Wait, where'd that come from? <laughs> It's in game trace. Who did what? I think you're just hearing things at this point. It might be, honestly. Has to be the eco here, boys. Uh, anyone got any jokes or anything? Any? All right, I got one. Oh, ready? oh, oh. <laughs> all right. I don't normally have much <laughs> to prepare. What have we got just, for us? Just get ready. Yep. So, a duck walks into a bar, right? He's got his little duck friends, and like they all just go to the bar. Right, the it's bar fantasy drink. All right. Um, so he orders a drink. And the bartender says, how will you be paying for this? He goes, put it on my bill. Yeah, I've heard you tell that one before. It's pretty good, though. Fuck. <laughs> it's pretty good. Sorry. Recycling jokes? I, I didn't realize you'd heard that one before. So. Jason kind of smiled. He's smiling right now. Maybe more of a wince. I smiled more out of, like, it was just uncomfortable. So yeah, it's the only yeah. way to really Watching a car crash yeah. sort of thing. It's I like, guess oh, Jason gosh. wearing Raiden costume is comfortable, so. That was actually... I know you kind of like that, but... It was confusing, and also... <laughs> <Get rousing. laughs> yeah. Like I, I had a lot, of, you had any lot you. of different feelings I hadn't really experienced before, and I'm, but I thought I was pretty comfortable. Yeah, but but ever since you heard the news... You yeah, <laughs> ever since I heard that news. Explore those feelings. <laughs> <laughs> don't hide them. I, I don't want to hide them anymore. He's got a nice new place in Malta you can go hang out at, Jason. I am. You yeah, actually he is. Yeah. He's coming. I, yeah, it's, it's on the uh, agenda. Back to the game, how Vortego take over. Here we go, we see Vitality. Finally trying to push you through for some mid-control. We're going to have even trades coming out. So a lot better goal of it than uh, in the previous uh, buy round. Apex lurking up on Catwalk. He's going to run into one end player. That's X7 going down. That also leaves the B-bomb site completely open. Ooh. Wow. I thought that would do a lot more damage. I did too, but they've got a hit. tank. Oh, this is great utility. Alexi actually had a great chance to try and find a kill before the bomb went down, but that's perfect usage. It forces an awkward play out of Sergei. And it gives Vitality their first win on this T side. Game on. They butt heads towards that middle position. Three players on either side, it felt like. Back and forth we went. The AWP was up close and personal once more. Vitality finished up towards that B side of the map. And looks like they've actually indeed got their first round. We'll see if they can keep this up. Here's Apex. Managing to find the penultimate kill. Orp to finish things off. Zaiwu hopefully can put on a bit of a party for us now as they head towards middle once again. CT Money starting to run low once more. Alu, glass cannon once again. More defenses than Zaiwu was was his. Trying to find that first pick and now he's in trouble. He's on the left hand side of the window. Remember, no armor. Oh. Gets tagged as well. He is the walking wounded right now as Alexi will have the secondary orb towards the CPO house. Walking wounded. Yeah, I like that. Potentially walking dead. It's Alexi trying to hold on to this catwalk area. The Molotov he did use, did get extinguished just a little bit, so he's going to throw a smoke his own. But they want to crash Do on it. this catwalk. Woo! They want to crash on it real hard. How is he alive? What a weird round. They're just pushing through this. Smoke. What is going on? This is pretty much chaos. Jason, what get us out of here. Dude, Alexi <laughs> missed so many shots. I can't believe he even got a kill out of Everybody that. missed so many shots. Yeah, but I like the bait and switch, right? Disappear into the smoke, and they jump through thinking it's going to be the op, and there's a UMP on the other side. But, I mean, that was just... It was worth two kills, that though, the UMP. Nasty. Yeah, it should have been, shouldn't it? I was, like, straight out of matchmaking. Hey, hey, that man, wasn't pretty. I can tell you try it. Yeah, he's got a 1,200 wins. Yeah, something ridiculous. I don't really... 
I'm oh, sorry, 1,400 wins. I, I want to really make sure it's accurate. I don't even know if that's Yeah, but with Trace, right. you know that takes like 10,000 losses to get there. Yeah, good thing that's, Valve didn't put that in the game. That's more the concerning thing. How many games have there been total? Well, I think it says that. Actually, I don't know. It's wins only, it says. I, yeah, so good on Valve for not telling me how many I've lost. <laughs> <laughs> Probably a little bit more demoralizing. For all their sins, that, that Valve really not <laughs> in the business of telling people how much of a loser they are. <laughs> yes, you have, in fact, been stuck in Gold Nova 1 for the past five years. Ooh. Here we go. Here we go. Skirmish the kills. Middle. Big skirmish here. Alu finding one, but all in all, these pistols. Oh, really Apex could taste those frags. Apex eating them alive. 11 11. Make a wish. What's your wish, Trace? Am I supposed to tell you guys? Yeah, it's more fun. Otherwise, it really doesn't work on a broadcast. Well, I thought that <laughs> if you told people your, your wish, then it didn't come true. Okay. That's with birthdays. Yeah, that's just with candles. 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 Okay. I wish for peace. On the sofa. That's fair enough. I think it's been pretty peaceful today. No one's, no one's snapped yet. <laughs> it's still, still early. <laughs> still early. About hour one is normally where it goes Kinda down. I got so. weird about my dragon <laughs> costume, so I just kind of. I think felt. that was a bit of comedic relief we needed as RPK and some nice opening frag trying to push <laughs> toward that underpass position. This is looking better for Vitality. Rock starts on both sides now, but they're bringing oh, wow. it right back. Sergey will do what he can. It's set up Alexi B as well. Somehow, some way, and to bring this back to a two versus one. They've got the bomb though on the Vitality side. Oh, they're both together on short. Look at the flashbangs. Great usage there. And Ents bounce back, maintain their lead. It's going to be 12-11. They'll save the AK and the AWP as well. Yeah, and Apex right there, I mean, albeit everybody's blind. Him yeah. to try to skate underneath there was probably about the best option he had. I thought he was going to get away, actually. But honestly, I didn't think they'd come back through that, that smoke. But that, I mean, this game is starting to turn into a bit of a brawl, isn't it? That was yeah. a yeah. super fast-paced round. That it was. RPK still a little bit quieter over there towards Vitality. If he gets into the game, this is big trouble for Ents. But as it stands, 12-11. And the Finns standing tall. All right, so that's three flashes from Vitality used into mid. I think they're just no trying game. to make it look like they're, they're trying to call the bluff that Ents wouldn't maybe challenge mid to know that there's nobody there. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, nobody has actually looked on the side of Ents, but they're pretty well set up uh, to they had, deal with Alu anything. was in Winter Room to like, listen for information, right? He was. I don't think he was actually peeking. Yeah. Here we go. Big pick. Apex seems to be coming to his own now, finding openings left, right, and center. But Ariel, he'll get the bomb down there. Nice footwork to get down from Shadow, but surely not worth another. He will, in fact, take down Apex there and keep Ents in contention for the round. 50 seconds remain. Vitality don't need to force the issue here, but they are running out of utility. That's a hastily thrown smoke as well. That could actually cause problems. It's pretty shallow. Wow. And yeah. Yeah. There it is. There's a gap in that left side, I think. That stops the bomb plant in a big way. Now, a real stalemate here for Vitality. He's just trying to claw back into this round. 2v2, though. Make that a 2v1. X7 with the AUG is going to have to come in from Connector. Oof, not the Vitality, best. this is weird. Oh, why, why did he take that so fast? I don't know. I Everything's guess. been going fast so far. Yeah, it's a very quick-paced game. It's the first game of the day. I feel like... Just We're gotta try some things out. The prettiest stuff being presented right now is being a very scrappy game. I'll say that much. I kind of get what he's trying to do. Like he was hoping that maybe he's gonna go, go for, for a fake plan. plan or something. Like, or go for the plan. He could get in there and put him in a really uncomfortable position. Even he was going for the fake plan, but it just ended up him putting himself in the open, no cover, and just had to take the fight. Already expended 20 bullets, and he was pretty much done for. Lexi B with the triple double today gets the teammate award. Uh, excuse me, teammate award early on. Is there a teammate award? That's a new one. Th there is we now. We make up an award every round if we really wanted to. I guess. Uh, There's no rules here. It's a bit of an issue, though, because Alexi had, like... <laughs> <laughs> and a thing goes. <laughs> I think Alexi had, like, 14 frags really early on, like, back in the first half. And it's just kind of quieted down. Yeah, I know. I mean, he's, I guess, focused on being a pass Trace, first. When Trace pointed him out in the first half, he had, like, 11 kills. Yeah. So yeah. that was, like, seven rounds in or something like that. Yeah. So he's been focusing on getting his teammates involved, I guess. There you just go. Just getting tag, assists tagging them up. <laughs> like, I was getting kills in the first half. Now I'm just going to get some assists. Yeah, so yeah. I don't really. So I, I've softened them up for you guys. But this round is going to be a little bit tougher than the last. No rifles for that event. The irony of this is Natsu was talking to us about how Ents doesn't necessarily always start games very strong. Yeah. In this game, they've started both halves on winning streaks, and then they've just completely dropped the ball. <laughs> They're about to get reversed upon. So Vitality 
Great chance to take the lead. Very, very sneaky over there towards the halls. And again, let's remind you that as this map starts to come to a head, it'll be Overpass next, followed by Inferno. This map picked by Ints. Currently, they find themselves neck and neck. Stacked there towards that balcony to the palace side. It could prove to be fatal should MBK decide he wants to go for a stroll. Seems like Vit Vitality don't want to walk into any stacks right here, and rightfully so. Sergei's been pretty deadly with that deagle at times. There it is. But it shouldn't matter. All the kills killing the way of Vitality. Oh, basically, they're the best ooh, ones, aren't they? Hello. Especially if you get that as well. A little bonus nice. prize at the end. That feels good. You get yourself some juicy kills. There's the tank. They take the lead on the T side here. And what is the money situation? It's not amazing. There's definitely enough for a full buy there. Um, but again, Alu would be glass cannon. No thought about it. He's gone straight in for it. That's exactly enough for an AWP. And uh, you can see they will have a distinct lack of utility. Might have wanted to go for an SMG or two on a couple of these players because you can see Alexi B, very basic utility. Alu with nothing. No incendiaries across the board. This will be a rough round. And it uh, looks like Vitality might be setting up for the flash attack from the palace position where you send three players towards that spot. You wait for the initial utility, two flashes over, smoke and CT spawn, and you're just going to attack as quickly as you can just to try and surprise them. It's more of a pounce setup than anything. And they have one player towards B that's baiting some presence just to try and show it's a default perhaps, just so they can't start pushing B and then lose that information. Uh, it means they can maybe slow things right down, but they've actually left the palace. So maybe going back to the execution, we'll see. Ants need a good hold. This defense at least seems like it's the right call for the moment. They're close enough. As, I mean, this this could easily be a fake. And if you have these three players as aggressive as they are, they're going to be able to call that fake super quick. Well, they're playing in front of smokes regardless. Yeah. So at least if they do have a full A if commitment, a, they can if it's fend committal, it off. Yeah, if it's a committal, they, they get to avoid the, yeah. the set piece. If it's a fake, they get all the information. And to mid vitality go with RPKs. Like so you got the AWP protecting aerial here. As soon as they detect anything, he'll drop that smoke. With 40 seconds remaining, it's a really powerful time to get that smoke down. I'd be throwing it about now. If you could feel them coming in, like with 35 seconds, you probably just get that down there. Really yeah. put them making an uncomfortable spot. This is going to be a kick in the dick. There we go. Get it down. Oh. That's so strong. Oh, it still dies. Okay then. Damn. Damn. Well then. It was looking perfect. I, I that's why I said a little <laughs> bit earlier I would have been sick. I thought that was. I think that. I think he just got spammed through the smoke. Yeah, he yeah. Did. peaked after he dropped. So it's like, bro, just don't do that. <laughs> just don't die. Damn, that was actually well played from Vitality. It did not look like it was be favorable for them at all. Alex, not slowing down, is he? He's gonna die yeah. here if he goes through the hole. He wants to take these rifles away. The what, sorry? So he wants to take these rifles away, yeah? Oh, I thought you said something about shrimping. I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <Yes>. man, <laughs> shrimping, yeah, dude. <laughs> What's that mean? Can't be for Gump all the time. Sorry, Henry. I, li I like your impression. It sounds Shrimp accurate. soup. Lieutenant Diane, ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Lieutenant Diane, you ain't got no legs. <laughs> that's, that's it. It's good. Oh, it's not Basically, you should focus on the impressions, I think. Uh, that what, could what is be, life like? That could be your thing. Maybe that's your thing. But none of us are good at impressions. You could, uh, you could be, that could be yeah, you. it's just kind of like ad living and, you know, kind of got like an MC vibe. Yeah. No, everybody get your hands up! <laughs> yeah, you kind of warm the crowd up before we go out. It'd be great. Yeah, man. Lube in the deals. Lube in the deals. Time Ooh. out. Whew. I'm coming to the end of this first map. We have Nuke next, where Ents have already bested Vitality. The only map they dropped this entire tournament was this matchup on Nuke. Vitality could not get going, so that's going to be Ents' pick. This is the pick of... Oh. No, we have over, no. Overpass. Overpass. Oh, 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 sorry. Was that the Overpass one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Which, reverse that. Vitality beat Ents on that. Yeah. Pretty badly as well. Why did I think... Oh, they vetoed Nuke. That's yeah. why I was saying. Okay, I got caught up in... It was a lot talking A lot point. of numbers going on here, Jason. Point, yeah. A lot of stats, no notes. Just trying to... I should have read something down. I don't relish. You're, you're, you have a very active brain. You have yeah. a lot of things that you have to filter through. Ten different things going on at once. Like, limitless almost. But you guys, they had to catch me. So that's always good. Yeah. Like, people make mistakes, Halbo. I know yeah, you no, don't. It's true. It's true. Give me I'm, old, I'm not judging you, you Give me the old stink eye over there, and I'm like... Try my best. <laughs> I can see your effort, Henry. Yeah, thanks. Chris. I just want to say I appreciate it no matter how much back and forth we've had all week. Thanks, man. But also... <laughs> it is overpass <laughs> next. <laughs> so there you go. 
Uh, I'm actually I'm actually astounded by this result so far. I'm amazed that we're seeing Vitality handle this so well. Well, yeah, I mean, and again, you said it yourself, uh, and even inside about getting strong starts, and then they just yeah. I mean, if you're NC, you've happen. gotten everything you've wanted, right? Ooh, here we go. Yeah, and they're getting more of they're it back. this round. They're back, baby. Not a whole lot of investment. This will put them up to 13, provided Apex can't do something crazy. He's had a great tournament thus far. I am really curious as to why Sai we wanted to, to clear out the entirety of Cat while there's a Vitality player there. That blew my mind. Yeah, it's a head scratcher. Yeah, because, I mean, I completely agree. Like, you you led up to it. You're right. Vitality have been doing an excellent job on, the, on their T side so far, but here he just, like, swings wide while there's such being fired from sight when he has a teammate on cat. I think it's just the route that first player runs these days is like, he clears out that guy right corner for the guy coming up catwalk and then he turns to clear out the far pillars. Yeah, 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 but he was like crossing the site looking towards yeah. Alex. Well, there's five AKs now for Vitality. Even having lost that round, still in this fight. They're already out on the same site in numbers. All five are here. That call is going to come in for Ants. going to start that rotation of that one player. Meanwhile, this should be a nice little scrum. Bomb does get planted. Yeah, this is tough. This is a good call by Vitality, and Ents just didn't have the manpower to defend it, so they're right away into a retake. They've got utility. Don't get into that battle, Apex. They have utility advantage, but equally, Vitality can do some cool things with counter flashes once this begins. I think RPK's position is going to be really powerful. Oh, he might have made some noise there. I don't think he cares. Wants this kill. Oh! X7's Whoa. a beast. <laughs> that he is. Oh! What? <laughs> get out of my face. <laughs> that was What's going on here? Nerve wracking. We do get the diffuse. 14 14. Blow for blow. That RPK position was critical. Because yeah, that, like creates, he had a a really third, good that spot. creates a third angle, right? Yeah. He's able to hold on to that. Had a really good spot where he could have dealt with either X7 or Alu. This is nuts. That's Oof. great. A lot of knifing action this map. We're really enjoying ourselves here. Natu walking through, also giving a little bit of a stink eye resemblance. <laughs> Not sure if intentional or... Probably intentional if he's looking at you. Oh, okay. Well, back to that hating. <laughs> area, <so. laughs> he laughed. He enjoyed it. <laughs> cool, it's man. a bit of uh, gentle hazing. You know? Hazing. Yeah. Okay. You're still in your rookie year, kid, so... Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, round 29, all the rounds, Jason. We'll see if it works out. Potentially bonus rounds. They've, well, actually, quite a lot of potential. Ends all of a sudden, they're really on their feet. The, the question money. is Vitality. Do they have the money to buy here if they want? Well, uh, the thing is, do they want to go for broke right now yeah. and potentially throw away the entire do. game? I think you do. I would do rather play for overtime. Yeah, what, what, how much money are they sitting at right two now? 2-9 on Alex, 2-8 on RPK. Oh, hell yeah. Go for this. <laughs> F1, right. buy out. <laughs> all right. <laughs> It's just gonna be like AK, a Apex I would do game. Deagle's armor now. There's yeah, that's what I'm thinking as well. Do do piss oh, pistols still have a chance by. to win, yeah. and then you get another real chance next round. As yeah. you go With all in and out, you're gonna, be, you're gonna be real. Typical source players playing for a tie. I'd love to know what they're, <laughs> they're typing about, but I, I know I don't think there's a way we can see. I that. feel discriminated against. <laughs> 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 Every time we well, talk source about is pretty strike. whack. I ain't gonna lie, man. Yeah, tell me about your 1.6 crew, bro. Well, it was pretty long tenured. Um, you know, also. Just in the the building blocks of my personal career. Like, Hell I yeah! Don't, I don't. Think, I actually it, think one point six is a better game. I was just too late for the boat, right? That's why I played Source. Like I can't help that. I, I don't just, actually. I don't. I don't actually beat as much hate as I said your way. Just want to just up. I just, just want to have yeah. my feelings and then see what happens. It's an easy. That. It's an easy punching <laughs> yeah. bag, you know. Get your licks in. If there had been any UK teams one point six and I was early enough, I would have been there. I mean, what are you talking about? Four K. They had, <laughs> even though they're like majority uh, they had not English. Two British players towards the end, and three, yeah. and a Norwegian, well. a Finn, <laughs> and a, a like red was in there. Yeah, here we go, boys. It's all on this. A Finn. Speaking of Finns, was well, that man? Well, yeah. it's not there anymore. But anyway. <laughs> sneaky. The devil. king of Kabul with the deagle. Ents has complete control of this round. They have mid control. They push up towards top. They have the information. Lovely. Well, it's a nice Drake. timely Molotov as well. He's already well. spotted one. That'll Ouch. pull players over. The mid control is the real key here for us. That's great. Trying to meet, grind them up. Yes. It is Ants. They've done a phenomenal job holding the site so far, and it's going to continue to go their way. Can I just express how much I hate that buy from Vitality? Please do. I mean, <laughs> three spin as much vitriol as you possibly can right now. Let's yeah. go. 
They didn't even like. They didn't there even get an all. Right. <laughs> they didn't get a cage. They they could have had so much better buy if they just let down a little bit on the utility. I like. I like to. Been the I like to the buy. I don't like what they did with it. Like just going to B halls. You love going into that round. Yeah, with just the right Galil, at the start. CZ. All five player B halls and let's just do an execute. The fact that Ents had mid control allowed two players in B to just concentrate. But where, where on are one you going to go? Over. Like how are you taking mid control with a ZZ and a underpass. Galil? Go through underpass, do a split from top mid and underpass. I mean, the way they've been doing it for the rest of the half. I don't know, man. I I just hate that buy. Yeah, well, this one's not going to be much prettier, is it? Nope. Pistols and head armor. And yeah. is going to have a field day with this one. It's just fallen flat, hasn't it, these yeah. last two rounds? They came so close right here, too. Albeit, this is Inza's map pick. So everything is in order. Everything still makes sense. Ooh, hello. Ooh, oh, hello. Okay. Oh. Oh, bonus rounds denied, Jason. Ah, not going to happen. You hate to see it. But it's a great game, though. I actually like that. That was uh, a lot of fun. I have to say, not the prettiest game of CS, but it doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad game to watch, you know? Like, it's still... It Usually, was... the, the the games with not the best CS yeah. are the most entertaining ones, in yeah, that sense. Uh, the reason I say it wasn't the best to watch is because there was quite a lot of uh, issues with um, disjointed plays, pushing through smoke, scrappy yeah. battles, missed shots. But it's the first game of the day. Um, this is... Uh, still a very exciting map to watch, and it does set the scene quite nicely for Overpass, another team, another map where both these teams play, and uh, hopefully we go the full distance again. But I still am leaning towards ends for that 2-0. Yeah, no, I, I, I mean, say. I I felt really hopeful about... I actually thought Vitality put up a pretty decent fight of March. I was expecting Ents to have a bit more control of this. Th that's the one thing I said going into this one. The fact that they had to play Mirage due to the fact that Vitas had gone so wrong, mm -hmm. they've actually got pretty decent at it. They were yeah. uncomfortable before. Um, it seems like this has been the perfect time to really hone the craft. And yeah, trial decent. by fire through this event. Yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> I, I mean, the, the fact that they were able to recover in both halves from slow starts, so like, you know, Ents would go up to 6-1 or, you know, five rounds in the second half, and then Vitality recovers is... is Awesome. So I mean that bodes well for Overpass, where they've already beat them something like sixteen seven or yeah, something it was ridiculous. Quite the beating actually. Yeah. So I mean they have a real chance here to even yep. this up. And it does look like uh, Vitaly starting T side on Overpass. How do we feel about that? I think they're going to be fine. Yeah. Uh, again, like uh, I th think it was an Overpass game well, versus Vitaly where we saw the CT side of Ents particularly Collapse. being like yeah very iffy. To be fair, they fixed that for their second Overpass game, but then again at that, at that stage when they got that for it was their T side that was lacking so Ents haven't really figured it out uh, as of uh, as of right now and I also think there's more to come from certain players on the side of Vitality like Zaiwu there's more to come from us as well more gags yeah. costumes <laughs> skits, skits content chickens. chickens impressions impressions he's gonna okay. work on his um <laughs> All right. All right. You want an impression? I just gave you one. Go was ahead. that a bird? <laughs> I don't know what a that was. was Go ahead, okay. man. Don't anyway, worry about it. Um, it is going to be Overpass coming up next. Ends up 1 0 in our first semi final. We're going to take about a 10 minute break. We'll be back with that second map and more fun, of course. So I hope you'll join us. We'll see you there. Ah. <laughs>